mention and practice finding a few relative minors of major keys not mentioned in the lesson. So I just want you to just experiment, pick a key, B major, and find the relative minor. It's three half steps back, and then write out the notes of the major scale and minor scale on your own, just so that you know how that works. Um, if you get into that uh, situation where you're playing a, a song that's, that's in a minor key, as opposed to a major key, you'll know how to find that information. Okay, so we are um, on goal number two. We wanna practice those notes, G major, G minor, major blues, and G major pentatonic scales. When practicing, we wanna start with the lowest notes, which we already did, and play each note all the way to the highest note. Then we wanna go in reverse and go back um, from the highest note to the lowest note. Um, and we don't just wanna repeat that. We wanna make uh, sure that we alternate between picking down and up the whole time um, so that we can move faster in the future. We want to pick a tempo you can be consistent with all the way through. And once you can play the scale at least five times, maybe eight times in a row correctly at a certain tempo, then you increase the tempo a little bit. Practicing this way will help you improve more rapidly as opposed to playing incorrectly and having to fix bad habits. So it's important that you learn that now Going slower is better to practice perfectly, and then you can move faster as you get that down. Then goal number three is to practice the 12 bar blues strum pattern and chords with the chord drills one through two. Then of course we're gonna practice, the goal number four is to practice the chord drills three through five, but we wanna work on the rhythm. Once we get the rhythm down, we wanna start listening to audio samples and practicing those major skills on top of the chord drills. Um, and just play those chords uh, you can actually get a, um, a little recorder if you want. It doesn't have to be expensive, obviously. You just record yourself playing chords and then go over those chords even longer than we have on our audio CD. We just have two and a half minutes, two minutes per chord drill just over and over again for you to practice. But you can um, do that with your own chords and find some new chords that you thought like that might sound good with those scales. So you could practice on your own that way. Okay, so... Um, next week we'll be working on finger picking and flat picking, which is kind of a fun um, for change of pace for all of our strumming patterns that we've been doing. Um, so have a great week practicing um, your blues uh, scales, major scales, pentatonic scales, and uh, your 12-bar blues, and I'll see you next time.